I forget how Jeff Bacalar intros this show. So hello, my little dumpers. I will be playing the role of Jeff Bacalar today. So I've shaved my head. I'm going to put on a black baseball cap. Uh, here we are. Hockey. Dylan. Um... <laughs> so I take it you didn't finish Tears of the Kingdom then? Okay. Okay. Let's All right. <laughs> wait, do we do it? No, we're, are we saving for? No, wait. Are we saving this for the bombcast? We're saving this for the bombcast. We're saving okay. this. Okay. So yes, he didn't finish Tears there. of the Kingdom. I don't Here know. Now. It's Tuesday, and I think that's your non-busy week, so we might call upon you anyway. Yeah, we'll probably just that's get you fair. on the podcast. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely this coming Tuesday is a less busy Tuesday than my last one, where I had to write an entire script and also move to a new house on the same day. I saw your pictures of moving. Uh, there were a lot of boxes. There was a lot yeah. happening. Your so room looks like a room happening. now. Yeah, so I was going to say that. All right, uh, I'm the host this week, Janet Choa, joining me. Uh, he's not the co-captain of the ship. Uh, he's he's the code he's the code dumper of the dump, Jeff Grubb. Hello, howdy, Jan. What what is what, what are you wearing? What's the shirt? Not judging. I just want to know what it is. It's like a it's like a fleece. Is it a quarter yeah, zip? It, no, 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 it's a full zip. I'm okay. wearing a tank Some, top underneath money. this, and I didn't want it exactly. Right. Okay. So something <laughs> about the the haircut in this you you look retired. Something <laughs> about this look you look retired. <laughs> Okay. All right. That I'll get to this. I'll, I'll, I'll get to this after we continue the introductions. Yes. Yes. Please. Our dear friend, connoisseur of the cheesecake, Mike Minotti, is also here. Can I be the co-captain of this ship? All right. Yeah. Fine. Uh, I, I relinquish my duties. This is all on Mike. Didn't duty. have any duties here. That's all the right. whole point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's all my duty. <laughs> and freshly Ew. moved uh, camera placement, all good in the hood. Bailey Myers. That's me. All right, all right. So we went at PAX West. We went to go uh, visit our friend, the completionist, and we he was rocking a mighty fine leather vest. Yes, he was. Yeah. And then we're all at the bar later. It's all it's all friends. It's all you know. Everyone's there. And then I, I you know, I we run past Gerard again. And then I'm talking to a friend of the site, Mary Kish, and I'm like, I think I can pull off a leather vest. And she immediately <laughs> darts her head and looks at me. No, you can't, Jan. You are a man of comfort. You wear cashmere sweaters and loafers. And then I felt attacked. <laughs> but she, she knows. Right. She's not right. helping you. I mean, like, I wasn't there. I'm like the bacalar of PAX West. And mm -hmm. like, so I'm glad that Mary was like picking up the slack, the the bullying Jan slack, because someone yeah. had to do it. Because no one else yeah. would do it, Bailey. No one yeah. else would right. do it. Yeah. I just uh, look at them with my like big eyes and I'm like, why would you say that to me? Mary was at PAX, but apparently she spent the whole time playing Pikmin 4 in her hotel room. So she knows about comfort. She knows about like how to live a life. So when she mm -hmm. heard you say that lie, Jan, she knew and she had to say something. So I appreciate her. Um, Bailey, you brought up that I didn't finish Tears of the Kingdom. And I, I have bring a bring it up. I, I have a very important update that we will share on the bombcast. Yeah. Um, Everyone tune oh. in the bombcast for that. Yes. <laughs> Is it you? Did you break it? Did you break your switch? There's, did you break no. it right in half and now you'll never finish it? No, no, there was something that Mike Minotti uh, illuminated for me uh, on Stupid on the game. Mess I podcast. was there when Mike had the realization and it was one I had already had a long time ago and kept quiet about. <laughs> <laughs> this is you so cruel, of a bitch. Yeah, just uh, it, well, the bomb Tuesday is going to be right around the corner, everybody. Sorry to tease so hard. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to tease so hard. Why are you doing this to me? I thought yeah, we we'll, were we'll friends. Tell you, we'll tell you. After I can the show, tell really. you. I, okay. you, you and I slack each other regularly. All right. I'll yeah. tell you later. Yeah, uh, you keep secrets. Oh, that's true. That's true. I didn't tell you to sparkle and shine on today, but you know the feeling yeah, is mutual. How am I supposed to know to sparkle and shine on? <laughs> we just we have this meme that we send back and forth to each other. That's just. Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen, and it's just uh, it's like thurs it's Thursday. Don't forget to sparkle and be yourself or whatever the fuck. We just send it every single day to each other, no matter if it's Thursday or not. Yeah, I nice. um Mike just sends me messages, fuck off. I started yeah. cleaning up my desktop of like miscellaneous stuff I don't need, like, oh, this is a quick look thumbnail from like five months ago. <laughs> and then I came across that one and I was like, No, I need to keep this. I need to keep this. Keep it. <laughs> I'm just trying to slip it up, right, guys? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, we're sliving. We're sliving. We're sliving. It's our sliv uh, era. It's our sliv era. <laughs> um, folks, you know, we came back from PAX. Well, not all of us, but some of us. Uh, how's everyone doing before we get to the dumps? Doing good. I'm, I'm fully recovered now. I'm ready to go. I'm yeah. Ready for the weekend. I, you, know, I, you know what I'm actually looking forward to? A real weekend. Like, pa PAX is, is fun, but, like, you know, a lot of that's like, 
you got to be on. You're traveling. You got to be on top of stuff. So I'm ready just to like, I'm going to be a sloth this weekend. I'm going to lay well, on the ground and play don't games. We, we, don't forget we have a, we're doing something else. Oh, shit, we're going to the goddamn Final Fantasy concert, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> Final Fantasy concert in Cleveland. Oh, Let's go. I'm ready this weekend. God damn it. All I right. Know. So after that, I'll sleep. <laughs> um, well, fantastic. Fantastic. I, I saw, I took a picture of something that reminded me of you, Jeff Grubb, at the local Target. This won't play well on camera or on audio, but it is a... Uh, Michael narrate. Definitely do it anyway, then. It, it is narrate. a box uh, that says, Oscar gourmet Meyer hot Gummy Hot Dogs. Oh, oh gummy, that sounds gourmet. amazing. Gummy Hot Dogs. I think de I want that depending on how on how you interpret regular hot dogs, any hot dog's kind of a gummy uh -huh. hot dog. Depending on how you, if you boil it, you're... They remind you, Jack, because they're really dog. small? <laughs> wow. Okay. <All> right. <laughs> Who, who wronged Mike today? Who hurt him today? <laughs> sure, a sure, hotel room with a man for one week and he comes out <laughs> telling secrets. All right. <laughs> Mike, do you want to tell the joke again? Because you're co-captain no. of the ship. You sure? No. They had to, no. I said that. I said that technically in the last episode of the dump truck. And I'm not. That's right. I can only say pull out so many times in one week. <laughs> <laughs> He's popping he himself. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, you would have been really We actually really needed your help. <laughs> you know, I, I think, you know what? I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna try and uh, uh, work whatever we have to work. You know what? I want everyone at the next PAX. I want yeah. everyone, you know? We could just make it a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Bailey, someone did mention you by name in a voicemail that we played during uh, the PAX panel. What? Right. What did they say? I didn't watch because I was angry I wasn't there. Of course. <laughs> I understand those emotions fully. Uh, they said that their stepsisters are named Emmy, uh, Emma and Bailey. And then, Whoa! Uh, I, uh, I kind of want her take because uh, we were like debating whether or not they meant that and like they have a, a stepsister thing. I don't think so. But I didn't seems... think so either. Okay. I did think so. <laughs> you, you and Bailey's manager thought the same thing. And I was like, yes, what are you guys thinking of? <laughs> I mean, why else would they do that? The tone of that voicemail was very much that there's. You maybe just can't a hear the word there. stepsister without hearing that tone, Mike. This is a you thing. Okay, why are you attacking me now? Is it because of the small <laughs> penis joke? Is yeah. that what it's about? I think it's probably about? exactly that. that yeah. yeah, it's too small to hold against. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I had to go buy sunscreen for my now bald head. Uh, mm -hmm. just, gotta, just gotta re up. Very real important. Ah, spray my. Oh. Eye. You just wow! The choice you just made now was oh. like so bold and brave. Spraying your sunscreen inside of your kitchen. One, two, in front of all your expensive electronic equipment. Three, onto your headphones, just directly onto them. No, see, I missed it. It's just yeah, yeah. it's all right. Okay. So you're gonna have like a, a headphone shaped like a like a headband. Burn. Billy, you're such the voice of the people in chat right now. We have Jan. Jan, why? Jan, what? Jan, please. It's uh, just everyone's deeply upset. Hey, I'm unhinged right now, right? I've lost my hair. I've lost everything now, you know? And Samson over here. <laughs> exactly. I'm just going to start going by Jerome until my hair grows back or something. Oh, oh. you do look like a Jerome. Um, How long does it take your hair to grow? Not we'll that. find out. <laughs> well, not that long because, like, uh, God, I, I also, I'm also, I don't have a barber anymore. Right. I yeah. haven't. What did you, you do to everybody? him? Huh? What did you do to him? Well, he decided <laughs> to give up the barbering life, so now he's not Barber oh. Jan, he's just Jan. Uh, he's just yeah. full-time uh, Pokemon card collector Jan? He's trying to get rid of those, too. Oh, what? he's doing some wow. serious life changes. Dang. Yeah. Whole new identity. We, yeah, uh, maybe him and I, mm, I gotta go, we'll, we'll go do stuff with Jan. Uh, I can't yeah. believe he was he was so upset you shaved your head that he quit everything yeah. he loves. Mm -hmm. That happened prior to this. So this you time lies, is not Jan. my fault. Sure, it's your not actions your have fault, consequences. Totally. <laughs> the, the one thing I'll walk away from Pax with, with Tam shaving my hair, is like, mate, your hair smells good. I'm like, sick. Cool. Yeah, that's good all that. you ever want to hear from Tam. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, just want to... Tam would tell me I smelled good. Okay, did we talk about this anywhere? But like, what? no, we don't need to talk about it. It's just like the <laughs> terrible smell it. that is burned into my memory. I, oh. Someone smelled bad at PAX. It happens. Oh, that's yeah. not much of a story. That, oh, ha that happened a couple someone times. Someone smelled bad at a convention for nerds. Tell yeah. me more. Yeah. I thought we were better than this, Bailey. That's why. <laughs> I thought oh. we moved past this. 
I've been to a lot of bad smelling conventions and I don't know how bad it smelled at PAX. The worst smelling one was Evo and it wasn't even close. Oh. Oh. Eat shit, Sean. Sorry. <laughs> FTC, bring it up the stink. Sorry. Let's go. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. You know, they got the, priorities. And the halls think- of PAX didn't smell too bad though. No. Like PAX itself was fine. It was just like, actually we were outside in this, uh, this human being was and that's, uh, pungent. But that's outside. the thing. Outside. Outside, yeah. you know, there's so much more space for the smell to dissipate, but it, right, yeah. it went directly towards us. Yeah, I it, it, in those moments, I did have like that moment of panic of like, oh my god, my shirt smells or something. And it's like, no, it's just this other person right next to me. Downwind yeah. of human Chernobyl. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, the exc- yeah, the exclusion zone was oh, just that. God, dude. That's why she's a writer, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I'm a writer too. Just like that. Wow. Um, yeah, you got a Mike got a credit on the new honest game trailer. Y'all got yeah, a good that. job. Yeah, even though you didn't use my uh, twink the time sweeper joke. <laughs> no, I did ignore that one. But <laughs> you said unboot the reboot enough times that I was like, now I got to do it. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. All right. Well, let's get to this fine list of voicemails for this week. Bailey, Mm -hmm. uh, since you didn't get to go to PAX, you don't get to pick the first one. Uh, Mike does. Yeah, only cool PAX people get to pick the first voicemail. (laughs) Uh, This is bullshit. I don't want to surprise anybody, but I think I'm going to pick (laughs) Mike got me all worked up. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I should mention that because there was not a lot of time since the last voicemail dump truck and this one, we were a little bit light on the calls, so I had to dig deep into the recesses of the dump truck. And this is one of Ooh. the older oh. ones. You found the dregs, all right? Let's oh, yeah. go. I found the yeah, dregs. Let's go. Uh, unless everyone wanted to listen to like a five-minute voicemail about someone pretending to be somewhere they're not. Listen, guys, <laughs> Taylor from LA. I would like to say that. I have, I'm breathing heavy because I just got back from a run, but I'm actually breathing heavy because Mike Minotti got me all worked up. Italian food on a day-to-day basis over Mexican food? What, yeah. What are we What are we doing here? Granted, I am an Angelino, so fucking take that as you will. Anyway, what is a food that you guys wish you had a better version of where you live? Like, I do wish I had better Italian food in LA, at least on the low level. So what, 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 what's something that you guys would like to be able to get out there? We have a Later. lot of. Thank you, caller. Thank you. We have a lot of good Italian food where I am, and also oh, my yeah. name is. Uh, I mean, not, Ita- we actually have some. Per- I, it's hard for me to say because, like, I just live here. So, like that's my basis for comparison. We have a good amount of authentic Mexican restaurants. Oh Maybe yeah, other for people sure. Told me that they're not authentic. But I don't know. They seem. No, authentic. Ohio's got lots of authentic Mexican restaurants. Yeah, there's like a Taco Bell in every corner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. What, right? what else would we be talking about? Of course. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, someone ran out of disc space. Um, yeah. I want uh, the Greek Mediterranean food, uh, euros and um, and really, really that's not around you. Uh, there's some, but they're not. They're not so, uh, great. Oh, if I could trust I a want sandwich. Shawarma. I can't trust a sandwich that doesn't have like cheese on it by default. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I this mean, is this is Mike and Dan. Feta. Yeah, but this is that Mike is and Dan. Like we were eating somewhere. Well, we got vending machine pizza, and then God and then we got it. the pizza out of the vending machine. Well, we I say we we made Mike get pizza out of the vending me machine. Do it. Uh, and they did, like he was so just deeply concerned. He's like, I can't get a drink. Like I need a drink. I need a Coke. I need a. I need a. I need a, a drink with this, or else it's not a meal. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that's right. I've heard you and Dan both say that before. Like if you don't have a pop, is that with not your, a thing? You guys just I, eat food dry? Like, no, I, I, I have a glass of water with every meal. I drink water with every meal. That's what I do. Okay, uh, hydrated over here. Uh, yeah, Whoa. I'm, listen, I'm, I, if I, listen, I'm not, I don't want to get kidney stones, please. God. Um, yeah, I, so it was like uh, when we were there, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Mike just really needs that Coke with his meal. I yeah. do. I'm trying to drink less soda. I got the, I don't have them here. I'm beginning those flavored uh, soda water things now. Sure. I'm more of that. Try to just not buy any pop to drink at home because if it's at home i'm gonna drink it when i'm going out to eat i can't help myself i gotta have a coke like I, i'm not there yet i'm not when i place- do go when i do go out to eat i usually that is where i get like a coke zero right. um that's that is definitely where I, at home i don't really have pop. Yeah, but, but like maybe if that's the only place that ever happens that's fine that's enough Treat but i yourself. can't be drinking these cokes at home anymore I'm, I'm i'm past that point in my life wow yeah. look at the growth everyone <laughs> look at the growth hey mike real quick can we make a pact that we're gonna keep we're gonna start uh saying pop again 
yeah, we changed for we the changed world. We changed for everybody. I'm not happy yeah. about it. I mean, I'm not say, proud of myself. What, we say pop in Ohio. Yes. And when I started traveling for work, it threw everybody off so much, I taught myself to say soda, and Same. I don't like <laughs> that about myself. Aww. I'm neither. sorry Shot. that you guys um, had to code switch. Pop, yeah, yeah, we had to code switch. Pop strong. We're pop strong over here, everybody. All right, oh, look yeah. out. Pop squad's back. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's right. Bring back pop music. One rest stop at a time. Bailey... You can pick yeah. the next voicemail. Okay, I will do this. But I also want to say that I do wish there was more Polish food in Los Angeles. Oh, sure. you know what? I wish... Uh, answering the question that the voicemail right. asked. There was a question. Just saying. <laughs> I wish I there's, had I, proper barbecue. So much, yeah, there's so much good food down here. You have to like really search your brain for yeah. like, what's the one that we're missing? Not yeah. any... No, I can't get a good pierogi anywhere. That's why I wasn't going to push the issue. Like, you're in L.A. Yeah. Like, you have a lot of good food there. Because I'm like, there's probably not good. But Polish food, I could see that. We have tons yeah. of pierogies Yeah, here. we have, and also, we have tons of So none of the German matzo ball food. soups taste as good as my mom's. So Man. if they could get on fixing that, that would be ideal. I'm going to mm. get some German food this weekend. That sounds good. German would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Cam, I'll eventually reply to that that Discord group. Don't worry. I'm trying, I'm trying to get to Kansas City for New Year's, which is a sentence oh, I never yeah. thought I'd say. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> But I can also pick another voicemail that we can also not answer if you want. Uh, <laughs> I, I said shawarma. What, do you, what else do you want from me? <laughs> no. And I told him why I don't like the thing he said. I, I did yeah. a no and. And yeah. then you were like, I drink too much soda in my house, which yeah, was so world, unrelated to everything we were talking about. The world's famous Mike, no and. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I don't know. I have the same problem as Bailey, which isn't a real problem. of like, oh, no, there's too much good food here uh, in San Francisco. Darn, we live in a major metropolitan. In the uh -huh. city. Oh, nuts. I can get a fantastic salad yeah, and then I, walk across the street and get just equally amazing food. Oh, no. They did close by one, like, uh, <laughs> fast salad casual. And then food. <laughs> they closed by one fast casual Indian restaurant here, so I'm very upset about oh, that. Oh, so. that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Any more Indian, Indian options food. that aren't, like, sit down restaurants. I'm not going to do that, but I'm, like, want to go to a place and just order some tikka masala and eat it oh, for like, five God, minutes. So good. Great. Or some butter chicken. I need a butter chicken place real bad. Yeah. Well, I'd like chicken. to announce that we're announce we're opening a butter chicken place right by Mike. Yay, oh, yeah. giant Perfect. butter chicken. Yay. Let's go. Bailey. Butter yes. Chicoto. I think we have to do ginger lime diet coke. It's like on brand for me. Mm. What's up, 3 a.m. homies? Uh, it's 1027 here on a Thursday night. And uh, I was just at a bar. And it turns out... Um, Jose Canseco is in my town for a local semi-celebrity softball team. And just in case you guys are wondering, I saw him, and he just looks like the biggest piece of fucking heaping shit ever. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. And uh, if you were at, like, say, a nice Wendy's and have a Coke freestyle machine, what are you getting out of it? I'm personally a fan of the Ginger Line Diet Coke. Thank you. I was like, yeah. when is it coming into Diet Coke? Because I can talk about how Jose Canseco is not allowed to play real baseball, but they'll let him on the faux charity, not the faux, the faux celebrity <laughs> league, whatever. But like, I'd rather talk about Diet Soda. You know, Jose Canseco still gambled on that game, too, though. He oh, yeah. Did. Oh, totally. <laughs> Jeff, well, Jeff gave a huge rant against the Coke freestyle machines. Yeah. We were hanging out this uh, last week. I yeah. love the Coke freestyle okay. machine. I agree Listen, with him, to be clear. I agree with Jeff. Uh, what? When, yes, because if you go to uh, Wendy's and okay it, uh, through the drive-through, I think the Coke freestyle is acceptable. Go ahead, uh, chase your bliss. Go get your ginger lime diet Coke, whatever. Um, if you're in a restaurant like a Wendy's and you go to like walk up to a freestyle, you are gonna be waiting behind the person who thinks they're about to make the greatest concoction on the face of the planet, and you're gonna okay, have to wait for five they minutes. Did. While they, <laughs> they definitely didn't. They definitely just ended up putting like maybe some cherry into their Coke Zero, which hey, that's great, but it doesn't take you five minutes to figure that out, and for some reason, it always takes them forever. Listen, no, the place I, I the place I typically encounter a Coke freestyle machine is a movie theater, and there's usually like a bajillion of the machines, so there doesn't tend to be much of a okay, congestion nice. problem. Uh, and what I get at the Coke freestyle machine is a very carefully calculated algorithm. It's um one quarter cherry vanilla diet Coke, one quarter diet Coke, no flavor, and then the rest of it is diet Mr. Pip. Okay. Okay. What's what's it taste like? Black. It tastes so 
fucking good is what it tastes like. <laughs> Thank you for asking. It's just enough flavor. And it's so good. It's like how in Spain they put like soda in their wine. And it's, it's exactly whole like that it's when you exactly go to like Spain. That. It's cosmopolitan is okay. what it is. <laughs> Bailey, be honest. How long does it take to fill up that drink? Like it, you're, Not like, long you sound, at all. It sounds like you're a pro at it. Right. I'm going to get but. How long? Well, Give me the here's, real time. here's what Bailey it's does is she'll machine. set up three different machines <laughs> yeah. and go and then down I, the line. I like mix it. I'll, okay. I'll, that's, like Bessie, that's we fun. cook elsewhere, you know, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, sometimes it takes a little longer because the machine won't read my finger because uh -huh. it's been so cold from holding the soda that it's like, that's not <laughs> no a human more. finger. What you're touching me with. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, a uncooked hot dog you have there. And I don't respond <laughs> well, to that. The thing that I dog. do is if there's people <laughs> waiting, what I do is I look at them really apologetically while I do it. Oh, that works. <laughs> yeah, sure. I love that look. As I'm, I'm like, sorry, I'm this way. Like, I'm holding sorry. my family's dinner and they're all waiting for me to come feed them. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to have my soda special the way I like it. For I the need to movie. express myself. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's good stuff. I just get a Coke Zero sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I, uh, I will get a Coke Zero with vanilla because you can't uh they don't know they never have just normal vanilla coke or heavens forbid vanilla coke zero on draft draft on tap <laughs> <laughs> i'll get that uh yeah I, i'll just put cherry in the coke zero that's what i do too sometimes i'm a little freak and i'll just get sparkling water Ooh. sorry do you mm -hmm. pay to get a cup from the freestyle machine and then you just put sparkling water in it hey i'll drink hella sparkling water bailey okay yeah that was I, my I keep... issue yeah, let's remember, go, Mike. Whenever I accuse like. you, Jeff, of stealing soda yes. at the one yes, place. Yes, you, you went Excuse full me. Boy Scout on me. I, like, said to the person, let me get a large fountain drink. And I came back, sat down. I filled it up, like, twice with Coke Zero. And by, by the second time around, you're like, didn't you order a water? I thought like, I didn't <laughs> order a water. Oh, what? my no, God. First of all, no, I didn't. Boy. Second, if I did, what are you, a narc? Energy from Manado yeah. over here. Damn. <laughs> wow. okay, like, I was a bit, like, absolutely not. I'm like, I, I would never. That's my well, culture. It's, if I order water, I'm getting water. Like, listen, that's happening. Jan paying for soda and getting what is basically water kind of counters that, I that's, think. Yeah. So it there balances out. There's an my, ecosystem. My, my favorite tweet of all time is someone saying, um, uh, like, white culture is ordering a water at a Chipotle and then actually filling the cup with water. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> definitely me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> oh, that's I feel right. like that Chipotle, any restaurant that has Coke Zero on their found machine is like, so good to me. So Chipotle <laughs> is always, always great. And Arby's is the best. They're the only one that has Coke Zero and Diet Dr. Pepper. That's hey. the only place I have a choice. Incredible. Yeah, Arby's is great. Arby's. Uh, Bailey. Curl in a little horsey sauce, call it a day. <laughs> is it oh, is wow. it wrong to assume that you may also be a Diet Coke connoisseur? What do you Oops. fucking mean? <laughs> <laughs> that you know and can identify a good Diet Coke. Yes, I can, absolutely can. <laughs> okay, because this phenomenon. I will drink something and be like, the syrup's off. <laughs> this phenomenon oh. is happening, though. Because this happened with Tam, and then this happened with Mike. They both individually popped open a can of pop. Oh, God, I'm fucking doing it now. Yeah. Uh, and it was of Diet Coke, and then mm. Tam was like, oh, this is good Diet Coke, mate. And then, you know, when this happened to Mike, he was like, this is a good Diet Coke. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here I'm like, the fuck do you mean this is a good <laughs> Diet Coke? <laughs> Well, there's like there's like a hierarchy of like there's a power ranking of the best kinds of Diet Cokes. The top tier Diet Coke you can get is Diet Coke straight out of a McDonald's soda fountain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Totally. That's the best one. Thousand they keep percent. their stuff like super cold, I think. And there's something yeah. to it. Well, they never and mess then, around with the they always have it going perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, it's a like right. distant second. You've got a cold can straight from the fridge. Mm -hmm. And then I guess like. If you're drink, you can drink directly from a two liter bottle. That's fun. And then underneath, you get like the twenty ounce bottle. But like first place I, is a McDonald's so far, diet perfect. Coke. Yes. yes, you're right. And then if you can't get that, get a can of Coke straight from the fridge. And if you can't get that, then just go. You might as well fucking die. Like yeah, what's yeah. The point? Drink, drink some dirt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like drink water or whatever. But like within like oh, within it. okay, so like you have ten diet cokes in front of you from different batches. Um, do you think there's variation there? Like variation in quality between those, because that I think like, that's what we'll, they're saying. It's like we'll some days you get the bad diet coke. Yeah, there's right. there's a very small variation that I don't expect you guys to get it. <laughs> wow. You know what? You Shit. know what? I I He's right. 
you're right, because I would say the same thing about coffee. Yeah, right. yeah, that's true. All like right. When uh, Jan said pop, was that a cultural victory in Civ? Yes, it is. Not <laughs> okay. as good. Not yeah. as good as Backlore having a Christmas tree. <laughs> no, maybe not. But... <laughs> that man has good. several, though. Yeah, three Christmas trees. <laughs> uh, Grub, is it your turn? Probably. Yeah. Um, I want to do. Oops, all seeds. <laughs> this has nothing to do with you. Okay. Shwoo. You know how they have like genetically modified watermelons, so you can buy like seedless watermelons at the store. Do you think they can go the other way with it? I think it'd be really funny to like buy a watermelon and bring it to a cookout and your buddy cuts into it and just a bunch of seeds pour out of it. Like, <laughs> oops, all seeds. That's just pumpkins. You ever, you know, when you have to open up those pumpkins, there's yeah. way too many seeds in there. Yeah, what they the should do something that? about that. Yeah. That's oh, that goop. Pumpkins yeah, are but... so gross. I like want to carve pumpkins. It'd be fun. Their pumpkins are too disgusting. Yeah, it's like it's it not it even just gross. It's like agitating. Like uh, yeah. it might, I, might, I'll be because I got to do it for the kids. I'll be in there, and like ten minutes later, it's like my arm is all itchy. Am I allergic yeah. to pumpkin goop? Like, why the fuck would that be the case? But yeah, I, I hate it, and it's like I didn't have to do two of them because I have two kids because I made mistakes in life. But yeah. Sorry, did you ever like investigate? Am I allergic to pumpkin further, or did you just like <laughs> leave that? Like well, I mean, you I've had the passing pie. thought in your brain, and well, okay, wow, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's a dude. Do you expect that. him to check up on yeah. his health? Right, I don't I'm know. Like, maybe I don't even, here he's I don't a even dad. have a doctor right now. <laughs> like, yeah, no, definitely did not follow up on it. Oh, like, you know, someone's gonna shoot me with a pumpkin bullet. Like, I, I'm fine. No, now I'm they will. Avoid it. It's PSL you know, season, now. dog. <laughs> I listen. I've, I've, I, I can do the PSLs. I can do the p pumpkin pie. PSLs don't have pumpkin in them. Well, I, I've had pumpkin pie, and I'm, I'm fine. I love okay. pumpkin pie. I crush well, it. Like, so it's like just fresh pumpkin that can murder you. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. It just makes me slightly uncomfortable. Like, it's not even a yeah, real that's problem. that's basically murder. Okay, you're right. Yeah, I do. I really do dislike being uncomfortable. So it is. What if the headless it. horseman comes I after think, you? Like, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got pumpkin, su pumpkin sucking lips. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, those, P those sweet PSLs. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> sorry, Jim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Um, <sighs> that's why I'm not shaving the facial hair. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, I gave my pick to chat and they chose hot dog pancake. Is bologna just a hot dog pancake? <laughs> Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Um, yes. Great yes. question. Yeah. A hundred percent. Kind of. What? Well, no. I'm what animal is bologna? It's it's like ham, right? Bologna. It's, yeah, bologna. They make bologna out of. You can get regular bologna, which is piggy, and then there's beef bologna as well, okay. which is the kosher kind. Okay. Um. All right. So like, it's kind of hot dog like. I think you got to make. Uh, it's almost there, but then you got to make it into a batter first. So like, Ew. just take a hot dog and put it in a blender with some. I don't know. Oh God! Something, and then make a pancake from that. Okay, but that's how you make hot dogs. It's like it's in a blender, and you put water in it. So you have a farce. That's what they call that. And then that's what you put in the tube. So sure. if we just didn't put it in the tube in the first place, and just got that hot dog farce, just let it sort of like, like Alex Mac out and oh, become hell yeah. bologna. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then there you go. So because like the bologna is in a, it is like in a tube. It's a giant big tube, and you get the slices, and that's why it looks all circular. Um, yeah, the pancake thing. I don't yeah, I want to talk about this though. Um, is Alex yeah. Mack the thing that like transcends everyone's generation here? Like, no. are we all Alex Mack fans? Wait, wait. Do you do you not know Alex Mack, Mike? I do absolutely. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, yeah. right. I'm are aware. We, are we generational here? I don't think we're all. Well, okay. I mean, I. I... I, I would say that I know you're uh, old Jeff. But, yeah, but, uh, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but I watched Alex Mack. Like, that was a, that was a huge thing on Snick. That was one of one of my oh, shows. Yeah, it was. So. Yeah. Oh. I love how she turned into goop. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think like Sean or Lex would be like really know what we're talking about with Alex Mack a whole time. Yeah, Nikki, okay. I see you're in the chat. Do you know who Alex Mack is? And are you disappointed in all your romantic partners because they didn't turn into goop? 
because you grew up watching Alex Mackey. Okay, yes, yeah, 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 I do. Okay. All, right. All right, I like that we all know, but there's like so many people in the chat who are like, I don't know what you're. We're ignoring fucking them. Talking we're, about. we're ignoring them. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's why you're not here. <laughs> I tried, this is yeah. the Alex Mack and Joyers Only Club. Sorry. I watched Alex Mack. I'm trying to remember like what happens in that show. I just remember. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Alex Mack turns to goo. <laughs> turns to goo. I, I don't know how that factor into like stories <laughs> or solving problems. You go under problems. the door. Yeah, You can right. always go under a door. <laughs> Every problem was a door and she went under it. That's right. Oh, <laughs> Bailey, I uh, I feel like you would, you would you'd get a kick out of this. So Tam, Lucy, and I took the train up from SF to Seattle. Right. So jealous of that. That was, was great so time. cool. Continue. Great uh, and we met a certain celebrity from our childhood that I was freaking the fuck out about meeting. Uh, and again, this will not play well for the audio listeners, but I met Lori Beth Denberg on the train yeah. from all that. See, oh this is the same. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, the way she's selling it. Oh, Nikki's selling it too. Holy shit, this rules. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I we we sat right next to her and then like she orders something and then one of the waiters like, "Can I take a picture with you, Lori?" And then like her husband or her person was like, "Wow, all these 90 kids reacting to LB. It's great to see." And I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. LB? Uh, L what? Call her LB. That's so cute." That's awesome. Ah. Uh, and oh she my got to be on, god! She got to be on Figure It Out so much. I'm so jealous. Oh. That's so cool. And now she's riding a cool train. Things are looking great for LB. Yeah, yeah. love yeah. her. Thanks. Of course, things worked out for LB. It, it's funny because we were in like a rainy car on the train with not too many lights or windows, but in the picture, she's enshrined in a yeah. in a, a ray of light. light. Like, yes. that, wow. it's, it's that glow like in the sims when you decide your sims a celebrity now and they just start glowing all the time it's like that mm -hmm. she was everyone such a... is everyone knows what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> she was such a nice lady uh it, she was great Man, i continue so, to be I, very jealous i simply did not think my jealousy of the train situation could increase and it just did and i don't think i can contain it in my body anymore mm -hmm. like i'm just so upset i wasn't there but i'm so happy for you man um all jeff could do the entire time he was traveling with me was talk about how jealous he was of other people hey mike was trying to be try, mike started like but you get to travel with me and it's uh, we're gonna get there faster and i'm like shut up mike <laughs> i'm being <laughs> miserable let me be miserable he was, I was like we're having fun too right <laughs> <laughs> no we're not <laughs> absolutely not oh man i love Lori beth i, I love lb yeah. we gotta get we, we gotta Where's, get them on the show. Yeah, where's all the, all that streaming these days? I, I've got Paramount? On like, Paramount, Paramount Plus. Like, Paramount, I probably Paramount Plus. Yeah, yeah okay. Nickelodeon stuff. Yeah, I'll yeah. check it out. That makes sense. Uh, I think we're back to you, Bailey. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Okay. A uh, whole new set of teeth. <laughs> hey, Dumpy Lars. Wouldn't it be cool if people spontaneously evolved to get a new set of adult teeth? sometime in their 40s, so you grow the tooth in your skull and push it out through your old tooth, you know, like you did when you were younger, and you just get a whole new set of teeth. I think that'd be cool. You should work towards that. Later. <laughs> I, All right, yeah, I'll we'll get right on that. I swear I just saw a headline, or it might have been like a weird junkie he headline, like a Facebook or something, that said, humans have a secret third row of teeth and this drug is going to make them pop out. So this might actually be <laughs> that. This was easy. a headline and this wasn't like some weird clickbait scam oh, on Facebook. Oh, it absolutely could have been that, for okay. sure. Real quick, I'm not like, sure, this, but I did read this. This celebrity's dead now and it just shows you a picture of someone who's definitely fully alive or whatever. It's like that level. I wanted to Google this. So I typed humans space H <laughs> and it auto-completed have a third set of teeth. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're being targeted. Uh, probably really there's... small, shitty teeth, though. Uh, it's most visibly exhibited by the 1% of humans with hyperdontia. Mm, no, so, thank you. A hyper teeth haver. So okay. One out of every hundred people you meet has a secret third row of teeth, uh -huh. is what the internet okay. is telling right. me then. We have uh, at least 300 people watching live on Twitch. So that means three people watching right now have a third row of teeth. Mm -hmm. 
Identify yourselves, please. <laughs> yeah, you anamorph motherfuckers, whatever you <laughs> are. Because it might yeah. catch the skull? presence of a hundred people, so oh, at least one right. of them's <laughs> got to have the extra teeth. Uh huh. You ever see a yeah. child's skull? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's like the weird teeth holes. <laughs> uh, okay. Not often. <laughs> Real creepy. I don't like it. Is it because child, of the size of them, or child no? Because like you get, teeth their teeth holes. are just like under. Like oh, in their skull. Yeah. it's really weird because they didn't come out in yet. It looks real weird. Just like, like lying in wait, and they're all in different like positions of getting up there. They're not like even. It looks real weird. I'm gonna look up child skull. This would go well if, for me. If there's one thing oh, I want to do, up. it's experience teething as an adult. This is <laughs> yeah. a great. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, just that be. Oh, just well, think about you know, the market. If I can't sleep, they can just rub some whiskey on my gums or whatever. Uh -huh. There you go. That's good. <laughs> well, do that Sorry, as somebody, is. Our rules has my quote. You ever see a child skull and then just the me as the Kool-Aid man? And it's killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, my God. I think it was on, like, a damn that's interesting on Red or something. I'm not looking. I don't have a child skull, you know, everybody. You don't have a collection of child skulls? Okay. No. Not yet. Thank not you yet. for clarifying. Yeah, They're it's nice that you said that. It's not dark at all. It's x-rays, probably. I don't remember. It's x-rays, everybody. It's fine. Um, hey, so if I were to theoretically have a third set of teeth, would they come out like pearly white or would they just be like caked in all of the coffee I've I drank mean, over the years? The kids' mm. teeth don't come in pearly white. The kids' teeth come in kind of looking fucked up. Right, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. They'll, well, they'll, my kids haven't lost any teeth yet, so I don't know. Uh, my they'll nephew claw their, their way in yeah. coated in viscera. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Weird for a while. Yeah. Like, they're not, they, uh, they don't, they don't look great for a while. I think, I think honestly, maybe that's just the way it is. Maybe it's only years of uh, crest and all the other crap. Yeah, all right, right. you're in fluoride water. Big yeah. crests pocket here, Mike Minotti. <laughs> here I am I, rocking I, Sensodyne. I, I have crest toothpaste, which I'm ready to admit I used all weekend, Mike. I, didn't, I never told you. I never even asked yes. for permission. You could have just told me. Whatever. I, 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 no, I knew you wouldn't care. That's why I did it. But uh, I yes. was very jealous of your, your toothbrush. looks so sharp, Jeff. Yes, it, it's, like Steph, got, Steph gets, uh, I like dozens of those. I'll just give you one. That'll be your Christmas like, present. Like, since you're so this is what I'm becoming, Bailey. So <laughs> Jan, what kind of toothpaste do you use? I use Sensodyne. I'm a Sensodyne oh. bitch. Hell yeah. Hey, hell yeah. Aww. There we go. <laughs> I'm hard. He's hard toothpaste <laughs> for my hard gums. <laughs> uh, yeah, spicy. The, yeah, the stout toothpaste. Shouts out to my Sensodyne bitches out there. <laughs> um... God, anytime I say uh, the B word, I just I'm just instantly mortified, and then I feel like I, I have to self-report to HR. That's because... good. That's a that's a good instinct to have. Yes. It's well, terrifying. I, I specifically to to have a, an encounter on accident. We've already talked about this on the PAX panel. Um, oh God, yes. I'm sorry, Lucy. Uh, <laughs> all right, Mike Minotti, what your did turn. You do to her? <laughs> He, we, there's a restaurant in Seattle called uh, Biscuit Bitch, and oh, okay. uh, Lucy just came down from her hotel room, and we hadn't said anything to her, and Jan immediately turned to her and said, Biscuit Bitch? And, <laughs> yeah. It was incredible. I watched it all happen, and then I watched uh, Jan become a white person, because his skin went pale. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jan! Oh no! <laughs> and she was just like, and, "Excuse, excuse me." And you know that was extra confusing for her because she's British, so biscuit could mean anything. Uh -huh. Oh, exactly. I know. Really keeping her on her toes. I didn't have any on me. Yeah, it was it was very very humorous. All right, uh, I gotta see what the rest of this says. So why do I relate so heavily? Oh, uh, the rest. Do you want to know the no, rest? No, of I don't want to know. I don't want to know. We're gonna find out. Oh, okay. I'm picking it. Hey, dumplings. This is Allie from Orange County, California. I am a 32-year-old West Coast native with no children. Why do I relate so heavily to just freaking Bacalar? Am I just that much of a curmudgeon? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Love you so much, especially Jan, <laughs> Rock, and Jeff. Rob and Dan. I just like you all. Okay, love you, bye. Yeah, love you too, caller. But but she didn't say my name individually, so she just made an enemy for life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, she and I have so much in common, and I'm like, no, we can never be friends. I, uh, I'll, I'll say this, caller. 
I, I, you, you sound like Bacalar a little bit in terms of like the tone <laughs> of the voice. Like you the, sound the like cadence. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're just like, hmm, I'm ready to voice my complaints with this situation. I think, I think which is powerful. All, we all relate to Bacalar. He's just kind of brave enough to say the things a lot of us Right. Are he doesn't care. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. His, that. he's already let his ego die. You know, he's, he's uh -huh. just ready to say it like, like it is. He's already, up. he's found his uniform, and I feel people that find their uniform early in life, it's like, it's so powerful, right? Because they uh -huh. stop faffing about, about like, oh, what am I going to wear with this? What am I going to do with that? Bacalar, 20 million black tees, 20 million <laughs> black hats, and he's good. Yeah, he's good. I and mean, then he's, now he's traveling the world and, and having a good time, and I'm sure he'll come back, and I can't wait to hear what he complains about. about he's going to come back. He's going to have a fantastic vacation, fantastic time with his family, with Dib. Him and Dib are going to have like a, a life-altering experience together, and then he's going to come back and be like, well, I'm sad that I missed out on PAX West, though. <laughs> exactly. What, yep. man? Miss you back, Lar. When's he back? Like, next month? Who knows? I don't. I, I have designed so many things now. I'm like, well, I don't think I should be signing any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Grub, I believe it is your turn. Uh, yeah, let's go with sports fan, please. Hey, Dubbers. What's something that you could say that will instantly piss off somebody like a sports fan or anyone you know, really? I'll go ahead and start. Uh, I'll always think of Martin Brodeur as a St. Louis Blues legend. <laughs> Man, that was for Bacalar. I get sped off. I guess I can uh, piss off a lot of local uh, sports fans in this area by saying, uh, yep. I like the name Guardians just fine. Yeah. Oh, Guardian. I think Guardians is even better. Than I think the old it's name. a positive change. Yes. I don't miss the old name or mascot. People yes, don't like hearing that. Specifically the mascot. Here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, people don't like to hear that around here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I got one that's going to piss off sports fans specifically. Uh, Draymond Green is a better basketball player than the best player in your current team. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I don't know enough about sports to like specifically piss people off, but I will say that honestly, I have no loyalties. I just like to drink outside. So I'm only, I'm just going to cheer for whatever team has a better vibe. And I don't know. I feel like, I feel like there are many sports fans that might appreciate it, but there are some sports fans that might take issue with my methodology. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, it's just fun to drink outside. I don't it's, know. It's yeah. true. Absolutely, tailgating's the best. Absolutely, I think um, uh, people get real upset still when people say the word sports ball, and I'm just I'm over it. You can say, I don't care if you don't like sports. You can say sports yeah. ball as much as you want. Yeah, I don't feel like people. I think people really want like a pat on the back for not loving sports, and I'm like, oh, congratulations. It's, it's like someone being like, and I don't like Marvel. Like, oh yeah, the really popular thing, and you don't like it. Congratulations. Yeah, big surprise. Yeah, cool. exactly. God, it's just. <laughs> Man, I just mm, this is a couple people in my life that just love the fact that they've never seen Game of Thrones or Mar the MCU. It's like, all right, cool. What the fuck do you like that? Other than yeah. being a little curmudgeon, we're not talking about Bacalar. No, no, no. Bacalar's fine on that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, people love to, like, willingly remove themselves from the zeitgeist and then feel, like, really proud of themselves for doing that. And to me, I consider it like a personal failing that I'm not into sports. Clearly, there's something to it. People have loved it for, you know, at least a few decades now. So, Give like, that's on me. That's on me. It's my bad for not liking sports. I, I have found I can make a lot of other sports people upset when I say that I think baseball is the best sport. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Mike. I'm best. with you, Mike. Yeah. It's America's pastime for a reason, and it's even better that they added the pitcher timer now. Yes, yeah, it actually, that was it's very been nice. very good this season, actually, yes. Yeah, that was actually, this was actually the first game I went to. Is I was at a baseball game yesterday. I was at a Guardians game, and the first time I was at a game this season, so it was the first time I saw the pitcher timer. And yeah, picked the pace up pretty nicely. Yep, uh, runs are up. It. It's, it's, a, it's a much much better this season. I, I'm definitely into it. Bailey, next oh, time, have you, have you ever watched uh, sports entertainment professional wrestling? No. Okay. Next time there is an, a Los Angeles show, I'm getting in the car and we're going. Hell yeah. Let's do it. I'm All in. Right. Done. I, can't I was thinking about like a, a, a games beat baseball excursion as I was there. Like, what if the, what if the whole crew was here? That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, I can't think of a sports one, but like, I, I definitely like the, the Marvel thing where it's like, I think 
that the Iron Man story in the movies is actually very good. And a lot of movie fans will get mad. And I, th- I and I think that, oh, um, Martin Scorsese was wrong when he said about Marvel movies. And a lot of uh, movie people oh. get very mad about that stuff. So, yeah, yes. M- Marty's old, you know? Yeah, he's just old. Yeah, that's yeah, all. It's, and there's nothing, it's not like I'm mad at him, but he's just wrong. I just I do really enjoy that like the big movies lately have been non Marvel like oh, yeah. it fell oh, for a while like Definitely. it was sort of sort of a movie desert where if yeah. you didn't if you didn't watch all the Disney Plus shows and see all the movies in theaters sure. and care so deeply about only characters and maybe not necessarily cinematography or choreography or good writing then like movies weren't for you for a few years but like we're so back baby like yeah it's, it's and th- those all movies, the all the bangers are those movies were still there they were just like we're hitting on streaming services and now they're actually succeeding at the theater and that's nice yeah. to see again. that's yes. what yeah. i like see i just i just want to see movies that aren't about superheroes in theaters i've seen all of them don't get me wrong i see every single marvel movie in theaters i just love to have the variety you know to oh, yeah. maybe not see a marvel movie and see yeah, something I, that's not that like i don't care if you like uh marvel or not, or superheroes or not, but I definitely got the fatigue. I definitely oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen any of the last five. I haven't even seen Guardians, and I really like yeah, Guardians, so Guardians and Galaxy. And I, Guardians was great. Yeah, I like Guardians sure a lot, but I did kind of go into it with like, a bit of a... Yeah, this might be it for a while for me. Aside for Blue Beetle, of course, which we've oh, all cool. seen. Yeah, Blue, Blue Beetle time. season is uh, so hot right now. I really Beetle. like Blue Beetle. <laughs> Blue Beetle. <laughs> Glad you did. I really want to see that one. That one I've missed. I've been busy. But I did see uh, TMNT twice. So. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I'm, watch, I'm watching that with the kids this weekend. Can't wait. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah. They're going to love it. You're going to yeah. love it. Everyone's going to love oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I... I saved a stupid TikTok that had the bacon, egg, and cheese joke, and I just watch it when I'm feeling down, and it's just like it's fucking idiot children. Uh, I love. I just read a thing where like Seth Rogen had them all in the same room and just kind of like improving conversations yeah. with each other, and I'm like, you can hear it. Like it's such mm-hmm. a good dynamic. I love that they're like actual children. They're like, yeah, they're teenagers. That's a child. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, it is. You're right. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Anyway, I'll stop gushing about I, I, the movie. It's just great. It, uh, it wasn't until way after the movie, I'm like, wait, they didn't say Cowabunga. And then it occurred to me. Well, <laughs> Not my yeah, turtles. Because no children today would say Cowabunga, of course. Like, I uh, Children in our day didn't say Cowabunga no. either, though, Mike. That was... well, well, I we mean, did after Turtles came out to be well, I'm, sure. Yeah. I'm from California, so that was like my third word. Okay, that makes you sense. Know? Never mind, yeah. My first word was Lassie. Was, uh, I think I used to watch Lassie. My second word was Joe, because I think that's the name of the boy Lassie hangs out with. So I was, I was, uh, I had too much screen time as a child. Shocking to look at <laughs> me now. To now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I can't stop shaking <laughs> from stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I gave my pick to, vo- uh, not to voicemail, to uh, the chat, and they chose Boil It. Hey, Jeff. I heard you like screaming. This is Corey from Chicago. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My question is, I had some co-workers who were upset at me because I said that I like microwaving hot dogs. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with microwaving a hot dog? <laughs> I ain't got time to fucking boil it. I ain't got time to fucking grill it. What do you guys think? Thank you, Colin. <laughs> Thanks, I kind of wished he had yelled, he had ended with a yell. I feel like it would have the really? joke would have connected for me better if he had if he had been yelling the whole time. Like I was instantly annoyed, and then I circled around to respect, and then I went back to being annoyed. I just I liked when he like got real deep with it for a little bit. Yeah, I thought we were about to hear a man die. I was like, Chan, did you listen to this all the way through? Or are we good? Ooh. Episode. Uh, um, do it. No, I mean, come on. You can microwave a hot dog. Who cares? Yeah. Well, yeah, like whatever. It's not gourmet. Yeah, I think, I think they're better boiled. I think they're better grilled. But you know what the hell ever. Yeah, but I put I put them in a pan with some some like just a light bit of oil and and yeah, cut them like out. But pan. like most of the time, it's in the microwave. You like know, 98% you can air fry the them. Oh yeah, that that's a good sense. idea. Yeah, uh, good. that's a smart thing. Not everyone, not everyone has an air fryer. They should. That's true. Yeah, I'm so sick of hearing about air fryers. Too bad they're good. Yeah. get one. Yeah, it <laughs> is one up. of. It is one of those like gadgets where you're like, oh, that's just like a fad, whatever. It's going to go the way of the instant pot and no one's going to talk about it in a year. Now it's great. It works. No, I, I use no. it all the time. It's so good. I, I was on that. Frozen progies in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was on that side that was incredibly annoyed with them. And then I finally got one. I'm like, no, I'm wrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
It's good. Yeah, Bailey, good. we're gonna have pierogies a ton today, man. Yeah, I ate pierogies for dinner last night. So, no show you ever put hot sauce on your pierogies? My... No, why would I do that? That's insane. Uh, no, it's not. No. Uh, what okay. do you think they sell hot sauce in Poland? Probably not. So no, I do well, it the authentic way. We're in the U.S. We can have fun with our food. <laughs> and look, what it's is buffalo sauce? What's buffalo sauce, Jeff? Uh, it's just vinegar and and the salt and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. Like you don't even know, Jan. What's buffalo? No, why sauce? would I know? Uh, it's like vinegar, right? And salt yeah, and some man. other stuff. Okay, so yeah. buffalo sauce is just hot sauce and butter. So since yeah, but hot just... sauce is vinegar, so we were close. That's not the answer. No, I wasn't so, wrong. <laughs> so since since pierogies are smothered in butter, you just put hot sauce on it, and you basically just have like buffalo stuffed noodles. It's incredible. Buffalo geese. The oh, buffalo geese. There you go. It's so good. Buffalo sauce is uh, is like dairy. Like it's got uh, that much butter. Gotcha. Or is it just, oh, it's got okay. a lot of yeah, butter. It's like half butter, half hot sauce. That's all buffalo sauce. Just like half me. Butter, I'm half kind of wondering it so more now. Now that I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bailey, we're gonna go watch wrestling Saturday, November eighteenth. Okay. Okay, I'm putting it in my calendar. All right, I'll send you. A, I'll send you a Google. What calendar wrestling company? Fantastic. Thank what you. Are you saying? So uh, all elite wrestling. Uh, will I have? Will it matter if I haven't seen any wrestling? Will I be able to no, keep the no. story? No. Uh, matter. Full fun. full gear. I don't know. You're going to a pay per view? I guess wrestling? So. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? All day? I want to go. Add. Basically, <laughs> it'll be all day. Oh, it's gonna be all day. All right. Mm -hmm. Gotta gotta hit up a friend to Doing perhaps it. get tickets. Please, Mister Uno. Oh, we can make that happen. Yeah. All right. Whose turn is it now? I believe it's Bailey's. Oh, that okay. Right. Um, ideal birthday celebration. Hey, y'all. It's Alice in Los Angeles. Uh, today's my birthday, and I didn't so I didn't don't celebrate my birthday usually, but next year I turn big big number that that people freak out about, and I'm thinking I should probably do something next year. So what if, if you could do anything, what would be your ideal birthday celebration? Thanks. Well, when I turned 30, I went to Disney World. Yes! Ah, oh, you're fucking, why did you say it? He was about to burst because he wanted to say Disney World so bad. I, yeah, I went to Disney World and it was, and it fucking rocked. I went to Animal Kingdom and oh, then yeah. I went to Epcot so that Fuck I could drink yeah. around the world on my actual birthday. Get and it. I. Drunk around the world, and I did it successfully. I do not remember anything past the oh, Mexico yeah. Pavilion. <laughs> That's the first one. <laughs> a duck walked on my foot. <laughs> no, it's not. It's like halfway. I it's started. Definitely in, not. It's definitely not. I, I came in on. I came in on the side where you where you're right by France. I came in by France. Oh, you came in through there. the international gateway by mm -hmm. the and then went, and then went, resort. Yeah, and then went. I'm gonna go get a watermelon wise. the car of Jan. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out yesterday. Uh, oh, no. Listen, Sorry, the Mexico man. Pavilion has this shaken avocado tequila drink. Yes, at the Cava like, del Tequila. Oh, so good. It's incredible. You should do that. Have... Just do that. Done. Hey, Neil Patrick Harris also has a, te uh, a margarita there, the Black Magic margarita. I absolutely do not them. trust any alcoholic drink made by that man. Have you seen his home tour? He is a psychopath. There's what? no chance. That. It's 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 the scariest house tour I've ever seen. I'm sorry. Scary. I don't know how to the vibes are scary. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not drinking his fucking margarita. But <laughs> I will say that it was a great birthday. I was very, very drunk. Uh I remember a duck walking on my foot because it was a magical oh, moment. Yeah. I went on the final Nemo ride. It might have been <laughs> the spirit of. So yeah, just do that. Do do the thing that I did also, where it was right after they got rid of fast passes. So at um, Animal oh. Kingdom, I went to the Avatar ride and I like looked at the like two hour long line. I was like, "Where are the fast passes?" And the man working looked at me with such pity in his eyes and looked at my birthday button and went, "How many people are in your party?" <laughs> oh hell yeah! There you go. Zero Let's minute go. wait. <laughs> that Avatar ride, by the way, so good. Even the line so really good. good. Such a good ride. It is uh, weird that they decided to do a mechanic where it like gropes your thigh while you're riding. Yeah, it, but though. I like that thigh groping. Just like let's, okay. let's know that they're there. Yeah, can they care about you? Yeah, and it massages your thigh a little. You can feel your your uh, ikra, whatever they're called, breathing beneath you. What are those? Little, yeah, what are those fuckers called? Chat, fly, fly blue things. Yeah, the, I, I, ikra. 
Yeah, that's a Ekron. Ekron. Yeah. Fuck. You you two would cry. You two are making your faces right now. You two would cry if you got to go on the Avatar ride. I guess I just like know. to go to Olive Garden for my birthday, Jan. I don't know. <laughs> I uh I, I had to look up a video. I posted it in the live chat. I just want to relive one of those uh my old trap house parties because I missed the sure. trap. <laughs> I want to go to Disney World too. Hey, let's go to Disney World, Mike. Fuck these losers. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't tempt me. Don't, don't tempt me. Like will that. go. I just love Disney no World. Idea. He's going oh, on a cruise later this year. Yeah. I went on a cruise earlier this year. Like, Show off then, why don't you? Yeah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> let's yeah. go to Disney World. Let's do it. I just, happening. I, I just miss my hooligan friends from the coffee shop. I just miss them. I don't uh, completely. It's great. Could you get them to like throw in on a, a trip or something, or is it not that kind of group of friends? Because they're, they're the kind of group of friends that can like they have the responsibility to pull off. Like, hey, we'll rent a house together somewhere. And I I, I don't have any of those friends because all my friends are irresponsible. I think we've all become too responsible now, and we're all weird adults now. But whenever we see each other, it is like. We are transported. Yeah, it instantly devolves. So Ooh, I don't I like trust us oh, with a house. Like high school, like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm just yeah. <clears throat> oh god. You yeah. Say, this you was say words you wouldn't normally say. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, this but was... like, does the house have roller coasters? Because that's like what's important to me god. personally. There was there was a there was several dance. I I was very okay. There's a messiest moment voicemail. This, that party was my messiest moment. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, I have a man. My messy moment's very messy. Well, if we pick that voicemail, I think it is Mike's turn. Don't pick messiest it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you you all saw him prep and like yeah. amp himself up. <laughs> I'm gonna pick. Place. Yeah. Just I, yes. first, I was I was really turning the gears. Like, okay, it would be funny if I picked something else. And then I was like, nah, I want to pick messy. Oh, Yo, <laughs> no, what's man. up, first? It's your girl, E.D. May. Uh, just a follow up on my question that I asked at the PAX dump truck um, about should I, you know, should I call my ex and hang out? Well, uh, I'll have you know, I did attempt to take the grub device and be messy, uh, but it did not work out. So yeah. instead, I had a lovely time by myself. Good. Museum of Pop Culture, Seattle. Um, so... With that in mind, I wanted to ask y'all, what, what's, what's your messiest moment? When have you just been a uh, hot, hot mess? Love y'all. Great to see y'all in Seattle. Hope you guys uh, make this a thing. Thank, Thank you, caller. Thank you, Evie. Thank you. Also Thank for the fantastic the Game Boy uh, color pictures. Yes, thank yes. you so much. Those were great. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. Uh, uh, Mike, do you want to go first for your messy moment? <laughs> Yes, I do. Uh, so it was like my 23rd birthday. It's actually the first year I started drinking. I didn't start drinking until I was 23 because I was a square for a very long time. Um, we used to go to this gay bar in town because they had the best karaoke. So we went to the gay bar for my birthday. Good coincidence? Go figure. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we uh, it, it turned midnight, so it was my birthday. And at this point, I'd never been sick drinking, so I just didn't really like think I could. You know, you think you're invincible. Because it never happened. So it turned midnight, and five different people got me shots independent of each other. And one of them, like, was kind of a triple. And they just all gave it to me. I was like, ha ha, yeah, midnight's my birthday. Whoop, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I was like, ha ha ha, it's fun to drink. Then it was my turn to sing my song, which was Lose Yourself by Eminem. <laughs> uh, my friend said, like, I, I had the first verse down pretty good, actually. Like, it sounded, like, not bad, right? Then, like, verse, verse two was getting a little sloppy, a little rough. They're like, like verse three, it was clear there was a problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's not good. There's something that's fucking wrong. That's that classic three-act structure, of course, yeah. Right. But So, yeah, then I, then I go back. I sit down, I'm like, just at the bar, and, like, not feeling good, like, doing the typical stuff. Like, my brother's there. My friend's girlfriend's sitting next to me. And I go, oh, I think I'm dying. And my brother's like, you're not dying. You're just drunk. And then it was just the laziest projectile vomit ever where I just, like, opened my mouth. And then they just, oh, you know, everywhere. Uh, on the guy's girlfriend, she didn't like that. All over oh, the bar. No. The she bartender did. she didn't, didn't like show it. But I just felt so much better that I was pretty happy about the situation. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, so oh. that was my messiest. So, night. so Wait, that's did, like. Did, a... did you keep drinking? No, 
I felt terrible. Well, you said you felt you felt better. I felt and you were happy like I was. A, I felt better from thinking I was going to die. Okay, <laughs> okay, fair, okay. For a while very fair. Ah. Uh, I'm not proud of my messy moment. Uh, this is not a, a, a literal messy moment, but uh, a personal messy moment. And when I tell people I used to be a piece of shit, let me tell you, let me tell you, it is that sketch 100%. Because at that party that I linked, I it, it was mine and a friend's 24th birthday. Uh, maybe it's around that age range of like 23, 24, 25. That's like peak uh, messy moments. Oh, yeah. Because I thought like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to throw a big party with all my friends. I love all my friends. Let's go. Let's go invite my ex-girlfriend, uh, a person I was talking to, another person I had just dated, another person I was kind of also talking to, and then another person I was also talking to who lived in that Jeez. house. Cool. So you did that thing like in people. Stardew Valley, like when you date a bunch of them at once and then they all yell at you in the bar? Yeah, you yeah. just did that in real life. It sounded like you set you up did? your own personal speed date, where it's like it's just me speed dating everybody. I did not learn the lessons from uh, like that. You know what they do in like sitcoms of like, oh, I'm gonna juggle two dates in one thing. I'm like, uh -huh. let's do that. But everyone is incredibly inebriated, and I'm making and I'm and I'm, I'm deep frying stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, it was also messy because my, a, a friend and I, shouts out to Chef Mikey, uh, was like, hey, let's deep fry this banana. And then we deep fried the banana. And then we gave ice cream sandwiches to everyone. Sounds really good, though. Yeah, yeah it actually fantastic. sounds like a pretty good party. Yeah. Oh, a deep fried banana. Yeah. I, uh, I, won, I won a bottle of tequila in a, a, a bet with a friend, and then uh, he made me do all the shots side by side. And apparently, I was also a piece of shit. I went to drive to go pick someone up. I have no memory of doing that. That was really bad. Don't do that. Uh, but I um, apparently jumped in a dump or jumped in a dumpster, uh, did handstands. Uh, I don't know. I was just all, and I don't remember any of this. And then I woke up in my clothes the next day in my bed. Apparently, my friends had to put me to sleep. But that's like a normal sort of. <laughs> Dog? Piece of shit, messy mo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he's done now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, we're gonna put you to sleep, honey. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Jeff went to a farm upstate uh -huh. after a long night of handstands. Uh. All right. I just. I can. I will say that. Like, I was trying to think of one that didn't involve drinking because obviously, I think a lot of messy moments are facilitated by yes. yeah. alcohol. I will say the only time I've ever thrown up in a bar did not involve any alcohol oh. because my friend managed the bar and I was there just hanging out and drinking water because I wasn't feeling well and I was living in a bad apartment where the water we had was gross. So I was like, I can drink more clean water at this dive bar and then go <laughs> home. And so I'm just sitting there drinking my water, trying not to be sick. And this guy came up to me and in the year of our Lord, whatever the fuck year it was, but too recently for this, told me I needed to smile. And so I oh, threw yeah. up on him. Hell <laughs> yeah. That's a power move, Bailey. Man. My friend was like, I would have 86 anyone for that, but you, know, you were in the right. So oh, <laughs> kept, yeah. going, kept going to that bar. That rules. <laughs> Fantastic. That's, that's the only time I've, I've thrown up in a bar, and I that's wasn't drinking. That's the positive power of messiness right there. Yeah. Use, it for good. use my messiness for good. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I don't want to find the results of this. Mike Minotti. I'm sorry to see who actually had the messiest moment. I, think I I admitted to drunk driving, so I'm gonna win. Like. <laughs> yeah, you're getting, you're winning this one. Yes, I'm voting for myself. Thank God, it's not me for once. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm kind of actually upset. I'm I'm doing poorly in this. That's <laughs> not supposed to be one of my oh, better stories. This was <laughs> also uh, the Everyone party. Everyone has that story, Mike. A birthday, all the shots, throwing yeah, up. But yep. Yeah. The Had a gay bar. Factor. Okay, that's pretty good. Yourself? You're right. That's pretty good. Um. This is the same party where I approached uh, an acquaintance that, like, you know, just met him. And I was like, hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. Are you ready to be the host of this party on Saturday? And he was like, what the fuck do you mean? It's like, no, no, no. You're going to be the host of the party. It's like, what, what, we have events. There's a calendar. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, I know. It's cool. I'm just going to give you a microphone and a blazer. And I gave him a sleeveless blazer that I covered in duct tape. <laughs> and, um... He was the host of the party, and then he was occasionally walk around with a microphone saying, "You guys ready?" <laughs> it's great. That's what a host does. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like when I when I emceed a conference in Iceland and I didn't know anybody I was introducing, so I just I was like, "You ready for the next one?" Well, here it is, and I did that like fourteen times. It worked out great. They never yeah. invited me back. <laughs> uh, um, Grub, it's your turn. 
Uh, yeah, let's go with Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Hey, guys, it's Alice in Los Angeles. Uh, um, the past episode, you were talking about bathroom experiences, and I recently had a very, very good and strange bathroom experience. I went to Ever, which is the restaurant in Chicago, from episode seven of season two of The Bear, the one that Richie Stodge is at. Um, so I, I, I went to dinner there, and when you go into the bathroom, the bathroom is entirely, like, cave-themed, like it's like a stone cave, and they are playing Matthew McConaughey's audio biography, audio book, narrated by Matthew McConaughey. And so you're <laughs> like, you know, doing your business, and he's telling you about how he named his children or, you know, the advice that he got from his football coach. Um, yeah, if if you had to, I guess, program, a, put a celebrity memoir in a, in a bathroom, which one would you pick? Thank you, Cole. Reggie fils a yeah, that's pretty. Reggie feeds me really gets the uh, the bowels moving for sure. Yes. Yeah, I want to hear about I want to hear about that Bigfoot pizza. Uh huh. That's uh, that. Yeah, definitely will have to make you take a shit. Um. <laughs> oh, 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 or uh, or um, what's it? Uh, Bob Iger's victory lap uh memoir that came out after he left Disney. Then he had to go back to Disney. It's <laughs> all gone. To shit. And now uh-huh. everyone's Probably. mad at him. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be funny in retrospect. <laughs> everyone's constantly mad at that guy. If only. No, there was like there was a brief window when everyone was like, "Thank God, Bob's back," oh, and then yeah. that immediately went away. The, the second fans. he was like, "I think the writers are stupid and ungrateful." Yeah. It's they like, oh, okay. <laughs> they, they, everyone was like really into him when it was like that kid got eaten. Right? They're like, "Hey, you handled that real well." In terms of in terms of kids getting Jesus eaten by Christ. animals, yeah. Yeah. what? That's like one of the top ways yeah, that someone could handle eaten, that. Wasn't it at the <laughs> Grand Floridian? Yeah, like an alligator ate a, ate a two year old. Oh, what did look, I miss? Look, look. We, I, In fl- I, it was how Florida. The book opens, where Mike, they I'm live. sorry. He's like, that's the book. He's like, I was like somewhere, and then someone's like, yo, a kid got ate. And it's bad. And I was like, I dropped everything to go yeah. see about this heat and get up. I remember when that happened. Everyone was like, oh, holy shit, a toddler got eaten at the Grand Floridian. I'm like, damn, that's a really expensive hotel to get your kid eaten at. That sucks. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Thank you for being here, Bailey. I really appreciate it. Bailey Myers, everyone. Uh, be- best guest. Oh. Best guest. <laughs> Uh, this is also our formal apology for everything we just said. Uh, hey. we, we're we're going to do better. I'm sad about the child, but you yeah, have to the me- examine the practicalities as well. Guess, guess where I'm staying at. In the- <laughs> and you're also terrified of alligators, right? I hate alligators, and that yeah. whole thing didn't help. That's correct. You should be scared of alligators. Thank they you. are dinosaurs. So yeah. I think, I don't know, I'd pick like John Moxley's autobiography. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right. You know, a lot of that's just dictated at someone, so that's pretty fun. Um, but the problem with that's like one where like he went to rehab right after that, and like, look, if I'm gonna read your autobiography and you went to rehab, <laughs> yeah, I want to hear about the rehab. rehab. Yeah, like, come on, I need a, I need an updated version of that book. Well, that's book two, you know. Rod Stewart's autobiography. Give me that one. Um, I, I, I tried to look up if French Stewart had one. He didn't. Ugh. For some reason, Rod Stewart's came up. So I'll get Stewart. I got just put just two and two together there. It should be playing Frank Stallone's uh, biography. Oh, yeah. They just put the, the, yes, put the documentary on. Hell, yeah. Bailey, what are your feelings on French Stewart? I have no feelings about French Stewart. Mm, I just tried to, ser- to I just searched my cinema. heart. And I'm like, <laughs> no opinions are arising about this. <laughs> Sorry, I've got nothing. That's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Hold on. Let me like look at a picture and see if that awakens anything in me. Yeah. French good, good luck with that. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> nothing. And yeah. I recognize him from stuff, but I feel very neutral about this man. Shouts we'll out watch, to French we'll cinema. Watch, yeah, French cinema. You're gonna join us. <laughs> we'll change all that. You're gonna have major opinions. Wait, joining us for what? What we're we gonna do, do a fr- we're gonna do a whole French cinema uh, 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 film in forties. Film in forties. Yeah, we'll watch all the French Stewart movies. Uh, Inspector Gadget two fifteen times. We can commit to that. Let's go for it. Uh, he's in Beverly Hills Chihuahua two. Um, oh, that's my favorite of, movie. Oh, there you go. Sequel work. If you if you need to anchor down a sequel and you can't get the original stars, French Stewart's got your back. Um, oh, I yeah. appreciate that about him. He yeah, was on like when they don't have the dressing that you like, so you have to get French dressing. 
<laughs> Bravo. Yeah. Bravo, Mike. All right. Thanks. Uh, Look, I'm trying to rebound us from kid getting eaten, all right? I'm doing my best. <laughs> That's why I brought up Fred Stewart. Our, our best bit. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'd want Larry David's autobiography. He's got one, right? Oh, in a definitely. bathroom setting. I would absolutely listen to Larry David talk about his life while I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Larry David. I wouldn't leave the bathroom. I'd be like on a date or something <laughs> and then I'd never return and they'd think I'm I, I, I left. Here. Yeah. I'm yeah, here for sorry. the night. I'm fascinated. Oh, real you answer. Can, you can bring the food in here if you want. But I don't know. That. Probably one of Anthony Bourdain's books. And just like oh, at a yeah. restaurant. like, oh, this is pleasant. Cool. Uh, God, he's such a good writer. I get that. Uh, like, he's a stunning writer. It's just the way he speaks. It fucking upsets me all the time. Uh, shout out to Anthony Bourdain. Let's just make, give me a travel <laughs> show. Uh, half the muffin is what chat chose. And this may be our last voicemail. Hi. Does uh, your significant other ever, like, just eat something and then leave, like, half of it for you in the fridge? Well, my wife, she she got some muffins, Hi. and Hi. she's only eating the top parts off the muffins. And then she's saying, oh, I left you half of the muffin in the fridge. Oh. But it's the worst part of the muffin, oh, you know? It's, lane. Oh, it's one thing it's if it's, like, cut up, the muffin right? in half. Yeah. It's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, like if you cut the muffin in half, like yeah, vertically, vertically, like hot dog instead of hamburger style, then like yeah, thank you, Bailey. That's thank you. that's a that's a loving wife move. But just eating the top is, and then putting the bottom half in the fridge for you is basically saying throw this out for me. No one wants the stumps. We all learned that from Seinfeld. The yeah, yeah. Your your wife watched Seinfeld and she's like, that's a good idea. That this is instructions for life. So that's a problem right there. But um, yeah, don't don't take that from her. Mm -mm. All the crystallized sugar goodness is on the. Top. I think start a it's big fight brown. about this. Yes, like, yeah. definitely. Huge fucking fight. Document. Say a lot of hurtful happen. shit that you can't take back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Get and, messy. That's yeah, right. That's right. Get messy to solve this. <laughs> you know, you got to destroy everything before you can rebuild. Right. That's right. Yes. She's feeding you her trash. Take issue with it. Mm -hmm. Respect yourself. That being said, I I do admit that I am the trash panda in the relationship. Um. We don't need to dig deeper into that. Uh, <laughs> Bailey. We love that about you, though, Dan. We love that about oh, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I will eat the crust off of everyone's pizza if they don't want it. Um, <laughs> uh, Bailey, you get the privilege of the last voicemail of oh. the show, so make it count. Shit. Okay. Um, how about uh, we won't tell? <sighs> Bust a nut. Bust a nut, grab a bag of corn nuts and bust a nut, then lightly toast it and hard as hell, enjoy yourself, we won't tell, <laughs> everybody Perfect. does it if they like it or not, you can do it at school, just don't get caught, it takes a few minutes if you don't delay, take your time and it can last all day, bust a nut, bust a nut. Grab a bag of corn nuts and bust a nut. The night will be toasted and hard as hell. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. We won't tell. Wow, we got like two verses and a bridge. We got like yeah. a full song there. That's amazing. I'm glad, that, I'm glad that this is our last what? one. I think that that's a perfect. What's the deal one. with corn nuts? Is it a corn nut? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is the word nut. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we talked it before. We try to figure out why they call it that. And it, yeah, we, it's just we, we figured it out eventually. We got that. hey, right? Qu testicles. Le legitimate question here. All right, legitimate yeah. question. A friend was showing me uh, a drink menu the other day at PAX, and uh, she said, "Oh, they changed the description of it. It said, hey, y be warned if you have allergies to nuts and tree nuts. Are those two different things?" Well. I think uh, in terms of allergies, yeah. they are. But in terms of real life practical stuff, they absolutely are not. Right. But you okay. can be allergic to tree nuts and not regular nuts. And vice but if you're allergic to nuts, I bet you're allergic to tree nuts. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah. yeah. But I think are you they want to. These nuts? <laughs> I think they just wanted to be so specific. Like, yeah, even you tree nut freaks don't eat this. 
or got whatever. It. Got it. Got it. What was in the? What was in this drink? I don't. Okay, hold on. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, well, no. Well, vamp, vamp. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bailey Myers, thank you for joining us today on the voicemail dump truck. Thank you for having me. You got anything you want to plug? I know there's a new honest game trailer. The there drop. is indeed a new honest game trailer that has dropped for Prince of Persia: Sands of Time. I did it in the most stressful week of my life, where on Monday I played the game in its entirety, and then on Tuesday I wrote a script about it and then moved. So you <laughs> feel free to enjoy. Mike Minotti has a writing credit. Support your favorite Mike. Yes. He's he's pretty up there. He's pretty up there. Yeah. Also, I'm streaming tonight. Come watch. <laughs> what are you playing right now? You still playing that um well you were um, not Monster Jam? Started I started Starfield yesterday. Oh, okay. Tonight's a tonight's a crime stream, so I'm gonna just like turn off clips, turn on not publish the VOD, listen to music, probably play Slay the Spire and Tetris. Oh fun. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Come watch. Hey, come hang out. It'll be fun. I can't find the description of this drink that ha we'll twitch.tv slash Balian versus Predator, right? That's, That's me. That's yeah. me. And now I'm never going to know what's in Jan's nut juice. Uh, Mike, you got anything you're you want to plug? You're out of control today, Bailey. You're out of control. <laughs> <laughs> this so move's got you really spicy. <laughs> today. I'm sorry. I wanted to know what was in that drink, and now I never will. So give me a logo of Jan's nut juice so we, we can put on a t-shirt, please. Mike, anything you want to plug? Uh, I mean, you hung out with us uh, all week. No. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, wait a second. It, 90s Disney. Go 90sdisney.com. About the value resorts, the uh, all-star resorts. There. Man, that was a good episode. I listened to it on the plane with you like five rows behind me, which is really weird. It actually, yeah. felt un unnatural, and I hated it, but I did listen to it. I don't think... There were any alligator incidents at that hotel. No, no, I don't think no, so. No, they don't put you next to real water at that no, hotel. Yeah, yeah exactly. No. That's man-made water. That's dangerous. Uh -huh. That's why every time they have like those people like, I swam to the abandoned Discovery Island. I'm like, don't do that. There's you shouldn't do that. If you get eaten by an alligator, that's on you. Mike, don't you have a new podcast? Columbros. I think yeah, it's out that's right. for everybody. On the 11th. The 11th, yes. Okay. 9-11. Oh, no, oh, no, the number one Columbo podcast in the world. That's not true, but it will be true if we all work be. hard enough. Yeah, <laughs> this is on you now. This is on me now as well. Uh, hey, in anyone's experience with Jello shots, have you ever had to worry about almonds? No, I don't think no. so. Like in the Jello shot? Cause I had almond Jello before. That shit slaps, like at a dim sum place, but probably not in a Jello shot. Uh, I love the emphasis on dim sum rather than <laughs> it's fan. He's, that that's how you know Bailey's been hanging out with us too much because her words are getting fudged <laughs> up. Mm -hmm. God, what did I say? I said Rubicon yesterday on the fucking uh, unboxing video. Anyway, this has been the voicemail dump truck. I've been Jan. He's been Jeff. He's been Mike. She's been Bailey, and you. Hey, go 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 stretch and take a shower today. You know, just 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 reminders. We'll see you for another episode of the voicemail dump truck. Get a refreshing glass of Jan's nut juice. It's I don't know if I want anyone to mock that up. I don't know if I do. <laughs> oh, too late. Bye.